Welcome to the faculty today. Today's topic is NFTs, how to create them, uh, how to store them, and how to hopefully sell them. But actually, we can put them up for sale, and then with any luck, somebody might buy them. So eventually, we're going to get to OpenSea here. But first, well, you need to uh, create your own art, uh, works of art. In our case, created some pictures that I'm going to put on uh, storage online on IPFS. IPFS is the Internet uh, Interplanetary File System, cute name. That's in the crypto world where you can store things indefinitely. Okay. Now, you could create your own node uh, and maintain it there, or you can host it through uh, another service such as pinata.cloud, which we're going to have a look at right here. Pinata.cloud allows you to store any kind of NFT media that you can imagine. So it could be pictures, could be 3D objects, could be music, could be videos, could be whatever. And that can be made into an NFT. So, um, you can try it for free, which is nice. Pinata offers three plans, okay? And they're quite affordable. First one is the most affordable. It's, it's free. It's zero dollar. Um, so basically, if you're like me and you're just testing the waters, experimenting, and fooling around, <laughs> you can set up uh, an account for nothing. You get a gigabyte of storage, which is pretty good. Uh, you have API access, Pinata Upload File Manager, which is, you know, the basic stuff. Or you could go for a huge 15 cents a month per gigabyte. So I guess the way it works is uh, the more you use, the more you pay. And you have possibly unlimited usage and you've got the, the other same features that the free option has. Now, if you are a big user, you might want to get the pro plan for 20 bucks. Anyway, I'll let you read all this stuff. Right now, we're going to focus on the free plan. So what I did, I created myself a free account and I created a folder where I put my files. Now I can click on it and I've got some self-portraits that I put here. And here are the two files. Okay. So this here is the URL to the file which we're going to need on OpenSea to link to the actual file that people will want to buy at some point. Okay. Now, why we, we're putting the files on Pinata is that uh, if we have a large file, like a video file or anything else like that, well, we need a, a place where people can download them. Okay, once they make the purchase. And IPFS ideal for this because it's already on the blockchain. Okay, it's already in the crypto world. And OpenSea is selling crypto assets, which are NFTs, which are going to be connected to this. So, uh, let's try with um, number two. Okay. Copy the link. Or well, maybe we'll need it later, but anyway. So let's go back to OpenSea. I already have an account. Okay. Basically, to use OpenSea, if you've never done it, you need to have a MetaMask wallet. Okay. What's nice about it is that you can be either on Ethereum or on Polygon. I recommend Polygon because it's a lot cheaper. Uh, the gas fees are minuscule compared to the huge gas fees you're going to get on Ethereum. Okay, there are 
times when you need to pay, and there are times when you don't need to pay when you get set up on OpenSea. Now, creating an account costs nothing. Uh, you, you, know, you have to connect your wallet to OpenSea, but that's free. Okay. Once you're there, you need to create your, your profile. So I already have a profile here that I created. What we see down here are um, NFTs that I purchased from OpenSea. Okay, that's my cute little collection of uh, rabbits. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create Actually, I'm, I'm going to go to col uh, my collections because I already made a collection, so it's going to show you what it looks like. So we have a collection here that I created for uh, my lovely self-portraits that we're going to upload today. Um, so typically you would create a collection. So you can go to create. Uh, no, if you go to create, it's going to create the actual um, NFT. So don't do that. Click on my collections, you get here, you have a create collection. So now you start with that. Let's do that. So you uh, upload a logo image, any image will do. So, you know, if you're trying to sell stuff like think marketing, so think uh, the picture that represents what we're, you, you want to talk about, what you want to sell. You can have also a featured image, which is optional, but it will be used if your collection of NFTs is featured by OpenSea. So, again, it's good marketing practice to take care of that. You also have a banner image, uh, which also is recommended, but it's optional. Then you need to put a name for your collection. Call it anything you want. You type it in here. And you have to create yourself a URL for this particular collection. So if you have five collections, each one will have a different URL, okay, on OpenSea. So you call it whatever you want. Here the example was Treasures of the Sea, but you can call it anything. Okay, here you can describe uh, your collection in uh, detail. You have up to a thousand characters. You can select uh, various categories. You have art, music, trading cards, collectibles, sports, and utility. So you choose the one that represents what you're trying to sell. And if you've got outside links, you can put your own uh, website here, your Discord, your Twitter, Instagram, Medium, or um, Telegram accounts. And put them here. Now, here you can collect. This is a very interesting feature of NFTs. If you're an, a regular artist and you paint or sculpt or make music, or whatever, typically after you sell your art, it's done and you get the money once and bye bye. Now, with NFTs, you have added features. For instance, let's say you make um, visual art, so it's a picture that you're selling. Let's say you sell it for, let's say, one ether. Okay, so sell it for one ether on OpenSea. You collect one ether. The new buyer, the new owner, let's say, manages to sell it later for two ethers or three ethers or whatever. Well, you can collect a percentage if you want. You don't have to, but uh, you could collect, let's say, 5%, okay, or 10%, or whatever you want, okay, 100%, I don't know if that works, but let's try that. Oh, it doesn't say no. <laughs> so I'm not sure we put, people are going to be happy about that one, but anyway, you can put any percentage you want. So. So let's say you put 10%. Once you put a percentage, it's asking you for your payout wallet address. So either you use the same MetaMask wallet that you created, or you add um, a different wallet if you prefer to send it to a different wallet. 
So you, you just copy and paste the wallet address. Now, you have a choice of blockchains. You have the Ethereum blockchain, which is expensive, and you have the Polygon uh, blockchain, which is a fast, gas-free blockchain experience that works with Ethereum. So they're trying to sell you on this one, and frankly, I think it would be nice for everybody concerned if you were to choose Polygon, because when your uh, your customer buys your art or your NFT, they have to pay a gas fee. So do you want them to pay like $20, 30 40 dollars extra on top of uh, buying your art, or pay a fraction of a cent? I think it would be nice okay, to select Polygon so that they would only pay a fraction of a cent, so practically nothing. Okay, I mean, if you're a beginner or a, a silly person like me who's going to put up some art <laughs> online for sale for the fun of it, okay, and maybe, uh, you know, you charge a minimal price of like five dollars or a dollar or whatever you don't want them to uh, or you even give them for free you can give them for free if you want you don't want them to uh, pay uh, fifty dollars in gas fees on ethereum okay if if that's more than the price of your art okay that, that that's like an extra tax for nothing so you know be nice and choose polygon i think that's a good idea now, you can uh, receive different kinds of tokens. So you could just get paid in uh, Ether if you want. Notice that it says Ether Polygon now because we selected Polygon. We can also add DAI. DAI is a stable coin which is worth approximately a dollar. And you can also add USDC which is another stable coin worth about a dollar. So you could, you know, price your item in any of these uh, currencies. So if you want to put it at a dollar, you can put one DAI or one USDC or whatever. You can put it a fraction of an Ethereum or if you make a really fantastic work of art and you think it's worth uh, several Ethereums, go for it. Uh, that's up to you. Then you can display. You have a display format. Okay, you can choose the padded, contained, covered, whatever. Follow the recommendation according to your assets. If you have explicit or sensitive content, which is like pornography, it's, I guess it's allowed, but uh, you know, you need to put the check here. Okay, so if you're gonna sell nudity, that's a requirement. You need to put this here. We don't want small children to go crazy or televangelists to, to want to hack your your, uh, your collection. All right, so once you're all done with this, you click Create, and you have your new collection created. Now, I already made a collection. Okay, so we go back to our collections. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so finally we're there. So this is our collection, my self-portrait collection. Okay. Now, what I did, I put a little banner. I did this very quickly, okay? So. <laughs> uh, if you're a real artist, okay, put a little bit more effort on your banner. And, uh, you know, put a nice little big net here. So right now we have zero item for sale. And um, no items to display. So what we need to do is add an item. So we're clicking here. And it's going to allow us to uh, create a new item. All right. So what we're going to do... Uh, we're going to take a file, we're going to drop it here. So, that's the file we're going to put. 
my lovely self-portrait. Okay, this one is called self portrait two. Okay, the external link. Okay, OpenSea allows you to put an external link. Remember the link that we took earlier. Uh, if it's still in my no, it's not there. Okay, so let's go back to Pinata. We're going to collect our copy our link. And we'll go back here and we'll put it here. Hopefully that will work. Um, okay, here normally you would put some nice uh, marketing and description to help sell your work of art. Oh, I missed that portrait. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to copy this. I'm going to put my humble <laughs> self-portrait number two. Okay, so it's part of the collection, my self-portrait collection. Properties. Textual tree that uh, shows as rectangles. Okay, let's have a look. I'm I'm learning as I go. Character is male. Okay, that's good enough. Levels miracle trees that show up in the progress bar. I have no idea what this does. Unlockable content. Okay. To a file, it's the one. Oh, not that one. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's not it. Okay, we need to redo this bit. All right. This is different. Okay, I need to restart this bit. Okay, so once our collection is uh, created, okay. We need to add an item. So let's create our NFT this way. So we need to go and fetch our work of art. We drop it here. Uh, we add a name. So in this case, it's going to be self portrait 2. Okay, now if you have a link describing your, uh, your NFT, your work of art, you can put the link here. If you don't, don't, you don't need to put anything. Now, you should put a description. Try to think about so, uh, something nice to, uh, to help sell your item. In this case, I'm just doing a demonstration, so it's not going to be fantastic. So, uh, what we're going to say is uh, my humble uh, self portrait number two. Yeah, I wish I could spell, that would help. Okay. All right. So, we have the right collection. If we have more than one collection, we could uh, select a different collection. I'm not quite sure what we do with these, to be honest. But this one, I know that we can put the link from Pinata to our file on IPFS. So what does this mean is that um, this stuff will be revealed by the new owner, uh, to the new owner of the item once it's purchased. Okay. Okay, do we have explicit or sensitive content? No, we don't. Okay, supply. Now, th this is interesting. If you look here, 
Unique items have a maximum supply of one, meaning only one copy can ever be minted. This is what a non-fungible token usually refers to. A value higher than one makes your item ownable by multiple wallets, and each wallet can own more than one copy. This is what fungible means. Okay, so you could create. It's a little bit like uh, if you're uh, you create etchings and you make uh, let's say a hundred copies or five hundred copies of the same print. Okay, so you, let's say you do um, etchings on copper or. Uh, you do um, lito uh, copies or uh, whatever you can uh, you can make multiple copies so this is the equivalent okay now what we can do is write let's say a hundred okay so a hundred copies can be minted minted min minting means uh, creating the NFT Okay, so you can have a hundred copies or a thousand copies, a million copies. I don't suggest you create too many copies because most most likely people are not going to buy that many, unless you're really famous and uh, your work of art is really amazing. But uh, that uh, you know, choose a number and or keep it at one, then it's absolutely unique. Only one person will buy. But uh, many artists uh, feel that you know it would be nice if uh, you know, they create the work of art once, but they could get uh, money out of it several times. So this is one way of doing it. Okay. All right. So now we are on the Polygon network. We decided to choose Polygon instead of Ethereum. Ethereum is more popular, but it's extraordinarily expensive and it's slower and so on. And, you know, if you're uh, just fooling around like me, I'm, I'm not going to charge people uh, very high gas fees for my amazing works of art. So, but it, it may be more popular on Ethereum. Okay, so that might be something to consider. On the other hand, I think it's a good idea to save people money on the gas fees so they don't have to be charged a whole lot for getting your, your, your item. Now, once you're, uh, you lock your content here, it cannot be changed. It's frozen forever. So you have to uh, keep that in mind. Okay, Whatever you put here stays like this forever okay so let's try uh, creating this and see what happens okay so woof, we created self portrait number two now it allows you to share it all over the universe okay so if you want to share it on Facebook, on Twitter, and whatnot, you can do that. Uh, can you do that later? Probably. Anyway, so let's click on this. And this is our beautiful work of art. Uh, there's no price. So if you want to sell it, you have to click on this. And I believe that's when you're charged. Okay, so you can set the price. You have a hundred available. You can you know you could have people buy a hundred at a time or ten at a time. Uh, so that that's your choice here again. I'm going to leave it at one at a time. I think people having one one uh, self portrait of mine is good enough. Now we have the choice of selling it, uh, pricing it in. ETH in DAI or in USDC. So let's say for the fun of it, we're going to leave it in ETH, but I'm not going to charge a huge amount. Uh, can we put the fee? Let's see, fee. Okay. 
okay, to the earnings. Can we write the price or not? I think we can, yes. Point zero zero one. Okay, so one thousand of a need. Okay, for a starting price. I think that's uh, pretty decent. So it's worth about three dollars. Okay. So if uh, you guys want to contribute to my uh, DeFi Crypto Today Fund, uh, <laughs> you can buy <laughs> this for three bucks or 0 0.001 ETH. All right. So how does this work? Uh, Open uh, OpenSea gets a, a cut. They get 2.5 percent. The creator me uh, gets a royalty of 10 percent. So total net earnings after the first sale is 2.92 dollars. So if anybody is uh, nice enough to buy this, <laughs> I would get 2 dollars 92, or the equivalent of 2 dollars 92 approximately. So it's a fraction of a fraction of an eater. Okay, so let's see we complete the listing. What happens? Complete the listing, follow these steps. Okay, submit a transaction with your wallet to uh, trade with this currency. This only needs to be done once. Okay, so we unlock. How much is it going to charge me? Okay, so it wants some wrapped ether to pay for this. So you need some ether in your uh, wallet. So we sign. Hopefully it's not going to charge me a hundred bucks. That's how much. It's the first time I'm doing this. Unlocking, unlocking, unlocking. Nice, nice, nice. That's the issue with Ethereum. It's slim. Okay, so it's unlocked. Now we need to sign. Sign a message using your wallet to continue. So we click on sign. Wallet pops up and it's asking us to sign. We sign. Ooh, we're listed the self portrait. So now the NF our NFT is listed for sale. Prior to that, it was not available for sale. So now it is. And again, we could share it on uh, social media. So we got this here. And now we see our listing. Okay. Unit price is 0 0.001 ETH. Or right now, at the current price of Ethereum, it's $3.34. Okay. It expires in six months from me. So, in six months, you know, I can decide to change the price or do whatever I want Okay, at this point. Right now I have no offers obviously because I just listed it. So time for you to go and buy this right now. It's, I mean, I'm sure you're going to make a ton of money uh, selling it later. And uh, <laughs> anyway, so this gives you an idea and then you have your trading history here. So um, remember we put 10% uh, commission okay a royalty okay so let's say that by some miracle somebody buys uh, this okay and uh, <clears throat> you're going to see it down there in the trading history and then when that person if that person is again miraculously lucky enough to sell this self-portrait to someone else then they would be I would be receiving a 10% royalty on that resale and if that person sells again the, the third person sells uh, the work of art uh, again to someone else I would get again a royalty and so on and so on and so on indefinitely okay As that, that's making the very big assumption that somebody is going to want to buy this. I don't have any uh, 
and don't imagine it's possible, but who knows? Uh, <laughs> so hopefully, if you're a real artist, okay, you're going to have some sales. But now, figure that you need to do some marketing, okay? It's not because you're on OpenSea and that it's the largest NFT market in the world that automatically you're going to have a sale like five minutes after you post your NFTs, okay? Even if you're reasonably famous, okay, unless you tell the world about it, okay, unless you do some marketing, it's probably not going to turn you into a millionaire overnight. So, as you saw, you can uh, take, you can share, you can copy your link, you can share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, you can embed this on a website, on all kinds of places, okay? So do a lot of marketing if you want this to work, okay? It's not going to happen by magic, okay? So hopefully this gives you an idea of uh, how to um, do NFTs. And good luck. <laughs> All right. So if you like this kind of content, please like, please subscribe, uh, please ring the bell. Go have a look at my lovely collection of self-portraits. I'm going to put up some more just for the fun of it. And yeah, I mean, look, I'm not expecting to make a single sale of this. But if you like my content and if you want to encourage me into creating more content, I mean, I'm not going to say no if you're going to buy one of my lovely self-portraits. <laughs> anyway. Um, don't forget, there's a free book you can download and uh, that talks about my crypto investment strategies. If you prefer to buy it on Amazon, it's also listed on Amazon. So have a great time. Try creating your own. Uh, if you're an artist, try create your own NFTs. I mean, this is new opportunities for artists that never existed before. So, with luck, maybe you're going to become rich and famous uh, with OpenSea. All right, have a good day. Bye.